Hi everybody, I'm back. I'm gonna do a quick video because I actually have to run out for a business dinner with my husband, but I wanted to get this in. This was a requested video, and yes, I will be changing <laughs> uh, for my Sarah wallet. It is um, awesome. It's a full-size wallet. It is um, seven and a half inches by 3.9 inches. And I mean, when I have it full, it's about an inch wide. So it, it wouldn't come that way, but depending on how much you put in it, um, it can stretch and also hold a lot. Um, what's great about the wallet is it has 16 um, card slots and multiple um, compartments for storage. It also comes in a variety of different um, material. So the canvases, the epi leather, the impromptu, and I think it comes in the vernis. So it um, gives you a lot of options. And it's not too bad. I think right now it's 700, but um, you really are paying for all the storage, basically, when you compare the ones that are uh, less expensive, you get a lot less card slots. Um, so for me, that was what was most important. I wanted a wallet that for me was very functional and held all of my things and I didn't have to pick and choose or shove them in different places. So that's why I picked it. It has a envelope style pocket in the back. I do not use this. Um, so it's just for decoration for me and the envelope look in the front. It has the Louis Vuitton rivet. Let me open it up. It's Louis Vuitton Paris. Kind of hard to see. And this is it. So it has four card slots in the front which are my most used cards. I love that aspect of this wallet. Um, that is a big selling point to me. I think the Emily wallet has that too, but they might actually be the only card slots on the Emily. I'm not, you can't quote me, but these are uh, definitely on another style wallet. But what's awesome is all of this. So six card slots here and six card slots in the back. They're a little tight when you first get the wallet, um, so you do have to kind of push them in there, um, but they come in and out very easily, and um, they don't overstretch. Like none of mine are overstretched, and the wallet is about a year and a half old. So you have the six card slots, and then you have a storage compartment here. You have a zipper compartment here. The zipper does have the LV on it, and it's actually both sides. And then you have a compartment here, six card slots, and then an, um, like a slip style, I guess, or pocket in the back. Not sure what they term it. But the way I use the wallet is for me, I put my cash in here. I uh, had it in the back before, but you're constantly um, pulling like this. And I didn't like that for um, the wallet. I didn't think that was good for it. And so I moved the cash here, which is much easier to access for me. Then um, in this part, I do not store my coins. I put some business cards and then I have it zipped closed. I have a, um, a key clay that I put my coins in because I need it for parking meters and easy access. And then in here, I just store little things. Um, this is where I put my receipts, you know, like the dry cleaning reminder to pick it up, any kind of store coupons, things like that. I'll put that in there. Um, and then these card slots I use for like my insurance card or library card, the things that you don't really pick out very often, but you kind of need to have with you. Um, they go in the back slot. So really these are my cards that I don't pull out much at all. This, I have my license back here, my ATM card and, um, some business credit cards that I don't always use. And then in the front, I have the four credit cards that I pull um, the most. So that is the wallet. It's very pretty, it's got nice stitching. It's nice how, it's funny, I actually didn't even notice this until I was filming and looking at it. But the detail that the, where the flap and the wallet come together, it actually lines up and completes the pattern which, you know, you think I would have noticed that by now, but I didn't pick it up until I had to stare at it. <laughs> so 
like I said um, before, actually, in one of my other videos, I did have an issue with this wallet. So there's two things. One is super minor, but the back one kind of flips out. I don't know if that's from opening and kind of pulling at it like that. It could be, or just from coming in and out of my bag. Um, but it did do that. It doesn't bother me. It's just something I wanted to point out in case that's that would bother you and you wouldn't want this wallet. Um, I don't know if that just happens because that pocket's in the back. And then I had some glazing issues. It was um, cracking. Um, right here it was cracking and peeling on the side down here and to me a wallet is used every single day it is meant to be opened and closed and used it's you know it's going to get the use so it should be built to withstand that in my eyes it's it's a wallet I can see bags being more fragile and things like that but um, but not a wallet so I did um, text my essay and send her pictures and you know showed her what was going on explained it to her and she was great she said you know what I'm gonna show this to um, my manager and to see what they say and they said you know send it in to us and we will fix it and send it out for repair and uh, there's no charge so that was really nice of them hopefully it you know it was a one-time thing and I just had an issue with my glazing and it doesn't happen again but you know only time will tell but I do um, love the wallet so much there's you know I wouldn't want to swap it out I think the only thing I would swap it for would have been the Empreinte leather version in black because I do um, like predominantly black or gray bags for the most part and um, I love the Empreinte leather so that would have been the only thing but it is it's more expensive so that's the wallet please let me know if there's anything you have questions about wear and tear that I didn't cover. Um, anything you wanna know about the wallet, just uh, leave a comment below and I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks so much, have a good one, bye.